It is a given that in your journey through life, you will encounter both challenges and blessings, moments of uncertainty and times of abundance. Therefore, it is pertinent that you find the right avenue or person that will help guide you rightly through each of these moments. As Christians, the Bible remains the anchor on which we rest on. The book of Psalms, particularly Psalm 73 and Psalm 91, offer profound insights and assurances for you as you navigate the complexities of your existence. Psalm 73 speaks of your struggle of reconciling the apparent prosperity of the wicked with the righteous path you strive to follow. It serves as a poignant reminder that true wealth and fulfillment are found in God alone despite the allure of worldly success. On the other hand, Psalm 91 offers you a comfort and reassurance of God's protection and provision for those who choose to dwell in His presence. It depicts a refuge and fortress for you as you trust in the Lord, shielded from harm and danger by His unwavering care. As such, in combining the themes of these two psalms, we will embark on a prayer journey seeking both protection and prosperity from the hand of the Almighty. You recognize the tension between the fleeting riches of this world and the enduring security found in God's presence. As you lift your voice in prayer, I urge you to draw strength from the timeless wisdom of Psalm 73 and the comforting promises of Psalm 91. My sincere hope is that this prayer will be a beacon of hope and assurance, guiding you through life's challenges and leading you to experience the fullness of God's protection and prosperity. O oh, beloved child of the Most High, hear the voice of your Heavenly Father calling out to you in love and tender care. As you dwell in the shelter of the Most High and abide in the shadow of the Almighty, may you find refuge and strength in His presence according to the words of Psalm 91 verse 1. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, I come before you in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name, I declare to you, may you feel the embrace of God's wings, shielding you from the storms of life and comforting you with His peace. As you trust in Him, may you find assurance that no evil shall befall you and no plague shall come near your dwelling, as He has promised in verses 4 and 11. With confidence, I declare over you, God is your refuge and your fortress, your God in whom you trust. May the proclamation in verse to be your anchor. In the midst of uncertainty, your stronghold in times of trouble in Jesus' name. As you journey through life, may you not be dismayed by the prosperity of the wicked or be envious of those who do wrong. For though they may seem to flourish like the grass and prosper in their ways, their end is destruction and their destiny is darkness as stated in Psalm 73 verses 3 to 4 and 18 to 20. I pray that you may fix your gaze upon the goodness and the faithfulness of the Lord. May you remember his promises and his unfailing love towards you. Even in the midst of trials and tribulations, may you hold fast to the truth that he is working all things together for your good according to Romans 8 verse 28. Beloved, as you meditate on God's word day and night, may it be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path, guiding you in the way of righteousness and leading you towards the abundant life he has prepared for you. I lift you up before God, asking for his divine protection and provision. May he guard you against the schemes of the enemy and the attacks of the evil one in Jesus name. May the Lord surround you with his angels to encamp around you and deliver you from all harm. May he grant you wisdom to discern between good and evil and strength to resist temptation in the face of adversity. May you walk in integrity and uprightness, shining as light in a dark world and bringing glory to God's holy name. I pray that the Lord blesses your endeavors and prospers the work of your hands. May he open doors of opportunity before you and grant you success in 
all your endeavors. May you experience the abundance of God's blessings overflowing in every area of your life. In Jesus' name, I pray that God will grant you a heart of gratitude and contentment, that you may rejoice in God's goodness and be satisfied with all that he has provided. May he help you to live a life of generosity and compassion sharing his blessings with those in need and reflecting his love to the world around them. And when you are weary and burdened, may you find rest in God's presence, knowing that God is your refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, as you dwell in the shelter of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty Presence, may you find security and peace beyond measure. May the Lord shield you from the snares of the enemy and the perils of this world. Let his angels encamp around you, guarding you in all your ways, lest you stumble and fall, just as Psalm 91 verses 1 to 4 says. In the midst of uncertainty and turmoil, I pray that you cling to God's promises knowing that he is your rock and your salvation. May he grant you the courage to face each day with unwavering faith and trust in God's unfailing love. His truth will be your guiding light and his word your source of strength. The Lord shall help you to fix your gaze upon God, the giver of every good and perfect gift. And you shall find contentment and provision. As Psalm 73 verse 3 to 7 says, May the Lord teach you to number your days all right, that you may gain the heart of wisdom. May your desires align with God's will and may you seek first his kingdom and righteousness, knowing that all other things shall be added unto you. Beloved, my prayer for you is that may the Lord protect you from the allure of worldly wealth and the pursuit of selfish gain. May the Lord humble you in prosperity and steadfast in adversity, that you may honor him with all that you have and all that you are. As you journey through this life, may God himself be your constant companion and your faithful guide. May he lead you in paths of righteousness. And let his goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life. And when your earthly pilgrimage is complete, may you be welcomed into God's eternal presence, where there is fullness of joy and pleasures forevermore. These I pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' precious and holy name. I pray for relief from the hands of your oppressors. May the Lord deliver you from their schemes and machinations. May he shield you from their cruelty and malice. Let his light shine forth in the darkness, exposing the deeds of the wicked and bringing them to justice in Jesus' name. I also pray for the oppressors themselves. May the Lord soften their hearts and bring them to repentance. May he show them the error of their ways, that they may turn from their wickedness and seek his forgiveness. For he is a God of mercy and grace, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. In the midst of your suffering, may the Holy Spirit help you to find refuge in God's presence. Let his peace, which surpasses all understanding, guide your heart and mind. May the Lord grant you the courage to persevere knowing that he is your strength and your salvation. O oh, gracious and merciful God, hear the cry of your servant who stands before you in distress and anguish. May you draw near to God in his presence. May you find solace and strength. May the Lord remind you of his sovereignty and his righteous judgment. And may you realize that the prosperity of the wicked is but a fleeting illusion. May the good Lord forgive you for your doubts and your unwavering faith forgiving you for allowing the actions of the wicked to shake your trust in his goodness and his justice. May he help you to fix your eyes upon God, the author and perfecter of your faith, and to trust in his unfailing love and righteousness. 
May the Lord grant you the wisdom and discernment to see beyond the outward appearances of prosperity and power. May the Lord help you to recognize that true wealth and blessing comes from knowing and walking in His ways, not from the treasures of this world. May the Lord strengthen you to withstand the assault of the enemy and the schemes of your oppressors. May the Lord protect you from their lies and deceitful tongues. May the Lord shield you with his mighty hand. And may the Lord lead you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. May the Lord incline his ear to your cry and come swiftly to your aid. May he deliver you from the hands of those who seek to harm you. And let the Lord's justice prevail over all the earth. May the oppressors be brought low and may their plans be thwarted by God's sovereign power. May you place your trust in God, your refuge and your strength. Though the storms of life may rage around you, you will not be shaken for God is always with you. May the truths revealed in Psalm 73 renew your spirits and empower you to persevere in faith, knowing that God is faithful to deliver us from the hands of your oppressors. As we lift our voices in prayer, may the cry of your hearts echo the salvest declaration. In the midst of your struggles, may God grant you the wisdom to discern the fleeting nature of earthly success and the enduring value of his presence in your life. May the Holy Spirit teach you to trust in God's righteous judgment. As I plead for relief from your oppressors, I acknowledge God's need for his guidance and strength. May the Lord lead you along paths of righteousness and grant you the courage to stand firm in the face of adversity. In Jesus' name I pray. I pray for their presence to fortify your home, securing its boundaries and protecting its inhabitants. May the angel's presence bring a sense of peace and reassurance, shielding your family from every harm, danger or negative influences that may attempt to disrupt their well-being. In the mighty name of Jesus. Just as described in Psalm 91 verses 11 to 12, may these angels be here your family in their hands. Preventing even the slightest stumble or harm, ensuring their safety as they go about their daily activities, whether within the safety of their dwelling or beyond its borders. In the powerful name of Jesus, I pray that your family finds steadfast security in the assurance of angelic protection. May they be enveloped by the presence of heavenly guardians, guiding and preserving their every step within their home and beyond. I declare that each member of your family receives discernment to recognize the divine interventions and find solace in knowing that the angels of the Lord are actively safeguard in their parts. May a profound trust in your promise to protect and uphold them be deeply rooted within your family in the name of Jesus. I pray that your family remains shielded against every scheme and fiery arrow that the enemy Satan may be plotting against them. By the authority of Jesus' holy name, I declare the defeat of every snare set against your family by the enemy. I proclaim a protective barrier surrounding your family and home, shielding them under the Almighty's wings from any attacks by the enemy, familiar spirits, or demonic forces. I pray that the shelter provided by the Most High Father makes it exceedingly difficult, if not impossible, for the enemy and other malevolent entities to track or harm your family and home in the spiritual realm according to psalm 91 verses 2 to 4 i declare about the lord he alone is my refuge my place of safety he is my god and i trust in him for he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly diseases he will shelter you with his wings his faithful promises are your armor and protection I pray that the enemy will be denied access to everything the Lord has provided for your family. Psalm 91 verse 13 assures us that you will tread on the lion and the adder. 
the young lion and the serpent you will trample on their foot with the authority bestowed by the Lord Jesus Christ I pray that your family will overcome every lion and adder in their path in Jesus name may they possess the authority and power to conquer any impending dangers or hidden adversities may they walk with confidence knowing that through Christ they can overcome every threat and danger seeking to harm or disrupt their lives. In the precious name of Jesus, may they confront every lurking danger, standing firm in their trust in the Lord's unwavering protection. May they triumph over every obstacle, recognizing that the strength within them is greater than any challenge they may encounter. The scripture in Psalm 91 verse 14 states, because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. I pray that your family clings tightly to the Lord, anchoring themselves in his unchanging love and faithfulness. In the name of Jesus, I pray for a profound and intimate connection between your family and the Father. May their hearts be intertwined with the Lord, fostering a bond of love that draws them closer to his protective embrace. I declare in the name of Jesus that their love for the Lord is strengthened, enabling them to seek refuge and find security in his presence. May your family members deepen their knowledge on the Lord, growing in trust in his faithfulness and his promise to keep them safe in every circumstance. I ask for his hand of deliverance over your family. I decree in the name of Jesus that they are protected from all harm, calamity and danger that may seek to harm them. They are surrounded by the presence of the Lord, guiding their steps and preserving their well-being. Psalm 91 verse 15 assures us, He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. I affirm that as your family calls upon the Lord, he will indeed respond. I pray that his ears will be attentive to their pleas and his heart is open to their requests. May their prayers ascend to his throne and may his answers overflow into their lives. In the name of Jesus, I proclaim that in times of trouble, the Lord stands with your family. In the midst of challenges, difficulties, or moments of distress, His presence surrounds them like a shield. May they sense His comforting presence, knowing that they are never alone in their trials. May the Lord's favor rest upon them, dignifying and elevating every aspect of their lives. May His honor bring distinction, protection, and provision, marking them as recipients of His divine grace. I declare that as your family entrusts their lives, lives into the hands of the Lord, they will experience his unwavering faithfulness, his timely responses, and his glorious honor poured out upon them in Jesus' name. Psalm 91 verse 16 promises, with long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amid spiritual battles and challenges, I lift your family before the throne of grace. I declare the words of Psalm 19 verse 16 over their lives, invoking divine protection, longevity, and salvation in every aspect. I decree that long life and satisfaction rest upon your family. I proclaim that they are granted a life filled with goodness purpose and fulfillment of the Lord. May they experience abundant blessings in every area of their lives. In the name of Jesus, I declare that your family is enveloped in the salvation of the Lord. His deliverance shields them from the snares, traps, and assaults of the enemy. The assurance of his salvation grants them victory in every battle. I declare divine satisfaction over your family. All their needs are met satisfying their souls with the law of peace and joy of the Father. May they find contentment and fulfillment in His presence, regardless of their circumstances. In Jesus' name I have prayed. I pray for God's protection and deliverance from every evil scheme and attack of the enemy. I ask that God will expose and dismantle every work of witchcraft and occult and marine spirit that has been set against you. Let God's light shine into the darkness, revealing every hidden plot 
and snare of the enemy and bring it to nothing in the name of Jesus. I pray for the protection of your mind, heart and spirit against the influence of witchcraft, occult and marine spirits. May the Holy Spirit guide you with God's truth and fill you with a spirit that you may discern between what is of God and what is of the enemy. May he give you wisdom and discernment to recognize and resist the tactics of the enemy and empower you to stand firm in your faith in Jesus' name. I ask that God will bring judgment upon those who practice witchcraft, engage in occult activities and consort with marine spirits. Let every evil practitioner be exposed and brought to justice and let your righteous judgment prevail in every situation. I pray that God will turn the curses of the enemy back upon their own heads and cause their evil intentions to fall upon them. Let every curse spoken against you be nullified and rendered powerless by the blood of Jesus. I humbly come before God, trusting in God's mercy and grace to deliver you from every attack of the enemy. I know that God is faithful to protect and preserve his children. And I thank God for his unfailing love and faithfulness. I declare in faith that you are more than a conqueror. Through him who loves you and may you stand firm on his promise promises of victory and deliverance. I thank God for he has heard our prayers and fighting on your behalf against the forces of darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, do not keep silent. O oh God of my praise, may you cry out to the Lord with boldness and confidence, knowing that he hears the prayers of his children. Let your voice be lifted up in praise and worship as you declare the greatness and majesty of our almighty God. May you raise up new opportunities and avenues of blessings and may you cause them to walk in victory and freedom. We ask that you provide the needs of my friends, family and may you cause them to walk in abundance and prosperity. May you turn every situation of lack into a situation of testimony of your faithfulness and provision. May you guard their investments and resources and may you cause their labor to bear much fruit. We ask that you would surround my friend and their family with your favor and grace. May you raise up friends and supporters to stand by their side and may you shower them with your blessings and provision. Let his posterity be cut off and in the generation following, let their name be blotted out. Dear Lord, we pray for the protection and preservation of my friend's legacy. May you establish their name and reputation for generations to come and may you cause them to walk in honor and dignity. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Heavenly Father, we ask for your mercy and forgiveness to be extended to my friend and their family. May you break every generational cause and stronghold and may you cause them to walk in freedom and victory for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful have spoken against me with a lying tongue. I come against every lying tongue and deceitful scheme of the enemy that has been directed against my friend. May you expose the works of darkness and bring light to every hidden plot or plan of the enemy. Let his children be fatherless, his wife a widow. I pray for the protection and provision of your family. May you surround them with your love and care and may you shield them from every attack of the enemy. When he is judged, let him be found guilty and let his prayer become sin. I pray for justice and righteousness to prevail in every situation and circumstance. May the Lord judge the wicked and vindicate the righteous. And may the Lord curse every prayer of the enemy to be turned back upon them. In Jesus' name I have prayed. I declare that the dangers surrounding them will lose power to cause harm. In the name of Jesus, I declare that your righteous anger will cause the earth to tremble and the mountains to quake, bringing confusion to their enemies as stated in Psalm 18 verse 6. The earth trembled and quaked, and the foundations of the mountains shook. They trembled because he was angry. I pray that God's righteous anger serves as a protective shield around you, guarding you from harm in the name of Jesus. I declare that the torrents of destruction that threaten to overwhelm you come to a halt. Even when you find yourself surrounded by the traps of the enemy and the shadows of death, I declare that you remain unshaken. May you always walk with the awareness 
that the Lord is your shield, your deliverer, and the one who lifts your head high, as affirmed in Psalms 3 verse 3. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me. You are my glory, the one who holds my head high. I encourage you to echo the words of the psalmist in Psalm 18 verse 6. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple he heard my voice, my cry came before him into his ears. You can rely on the Father's love and faithfulness to answer your call. Psalms 18 verse 8 illustrates the powerful imagery of God's divine intervention symbolized by smoke rising from his nostrils and consuming fire emanated from his mouth. I declare that this consuming fire of the Lord eradicates all evil and darkness in your life in Jesus' name. May the fiery protection of the Lord envelop you, consuming every threat against you in Jesus' name. I pray that the mighty presence of the Lord surrounds you, shielding you from every storm and trial just as the Lord parted the heavens. As mentioned in Psalm 18 verse 9, may he also part every storm in your life, making a way for you where there seems to be no way in Jesus' name. I pray that the Lord lifts you up on the wings of his protection, elevating you from the dangers of the world. Even in the darkest times, may you see the Lord as your guiding light and ultimate source of salvation. May the Lord serve as a covering for you, shielding you from the schemes of the enemy and keeping you hidden in the shelter of his boundless love. May the presence of the Lord radiate brightly in your life, illuminating the path before you. Let the brilliance of the Lord scatter the darkness of your life and drive away every foe, just as described in Psalm 18 verse 12. Out of the brightness of his presence, clouds advanced with hailstones and bolts of lightning. May the sound of God's voice be your safeguard, striking fear into the hearts of your enemies. As stated in Psalm 18 verse 13, the Lord thundered from heaven, the voice of the Most High resounded. I pray that the Lord scatters your enemies with his mighty arrows and bolts of lightning. As described in Psalm 18 verse 14, he shot his arrows and scattered the enemy. With great bolts of lightning, he rooted them. May your enemies flee from you in terror in every direction. As stated in Psalm 18 verse 15, the valleys of the sea were exposed and the foundations of the earth laid bare at your rebuke, Lord, at the blast of breath from your nostrils. I pray that the Lord rebukes every threat against you, exposing and rendering them ineffective in Jesus' name. May the breath of life from the Father sustain you in times of trouble in Jesus' name. May you find peace and tranquility amidst distress and sorrow, trusting in the unwavering love of the Father in Jesus' name. Even in your darkest moments, may you lean on the Father as your Savior and Redeemer believing in his ability to rescue you from every trial. I pray that the compassionate and righteous Father surrounds you with overflowing mercy and kindness, meeting you with abundant grace. May you experience the enduring faithfulness of the Lord as you call upon his name as expressed in Psalm 116 verse 6. The Lord protects the unwary and when I was brought low, he saved me. I pray that the Lord watches over you when you least expect it, intervening in your lowest moments. May the strength of the Lord lift you from despair, finding comfort in His presence. As Psalm 116 verse 7 says, Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. May you abound in the goodness of God, relying on his faithfulness even in chaos and finding tranquility in his unwavering love just as the psalmist expressed gratitude for deliverance in Psalms 116 verses 8 to 9. May you walk before the Lord in the land of the living, free from tears and stumbling. I pray for the Lord's deliverance from death, the wiping away of your tears and the steadying of your steps. May the Lord's guiding hand lead you through every trial and enable you to live a life pleasing to Him. May you have the strength and wisdom to walk in the ways of the Lord. In times of great affliction, may you trust in the Lord just as the psalmist did in Psalm 116 verse 10. In moments of fear, May you hold fast the truth of the Lord's promises over your life. 
I pray for the Lord's rescue from any brink of destruction you may face. I declare that you are liberated from every chain hindering your freedom and progress. Just as the psalm is expressed in Psalm 116 verse 16, your life will testify of the goodness of God, demonstrating His faithfulness and grace to those around you. In times of trouble and uncertainty, may you cling to the assurance that the Lord will always be with you. May the Lord safeguard you when you are vulnerable to the schemes of the wicked, shielding you from harm. I proclaim that justice will prevail against those who oppress and exploit you in Jesus' name. Amen.